Thanks for agreeing to our home loan. We only charge 5% interest, the best you can find out there. All you have to do is just sign right here and we will take care of you. Is it really worth it? Honestly, do you seriously believe this interest transaction will benefit you? Before you sign away, please reconsider. Is it because you trust the bank's promise that your wealth and property will increase through interest-based loans? Are you unaware that Allah explicitly promises in the Quran that He will destroy all money earned through interest? while he increases in multitudes the wealth that is spent in charity? Do you trust the bank more than Allah? The bank that is infamous for its deception more than Allah? Allah the one who owns the treasures of the heavens and the earths, the one who never breaks his promise? Surely if you trusted Allah with your wealth, you would spend it in charity and not destroy it for riba. Is it really worth it? Maybe you are seeking security through this interest transaction Maybe you want to secure the comfort and safety of your children for buying a house or a car on riba? Would you still feel secure knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger declare war, war on those who deal with interest? What armor could you possibly defend yourself with? Surely the only security you have is to give up the interest today and save yourself from this calamity. Is it really worth it? Are you afraid to avoid interest because you fear poverty and hardship? Do you think Allah will neglect you like this? Allah loves those who sacrifice for Him and never lets them down. In fact, not only will Allah look after you, but He will repay every sacrifice you make with something better. As Allah says in the Quran, Whosoever fears Allah, He will provide him a way out and provide for him from where he expects not. Is it really worth it? You would gladly refrain from consuming alcohol and pork because it's haram, but you would happily consume a lifetime of interest-based wealth, which is far more poisonous and harmful than both of these. Are you not aware that one of the biggest reasons for having your supplications and prayers unanswered by Allah is because of the haram you consume? Do you really want to risk Allah ignoring you for this? Is it really worth it? Maybe you are unaware of the gravity of the sin. You don't see it as harmful as committing adultery or fornication. Did you not know that the Prophet ﷺ said that the sin of riba is worse than 36 counts of adultery? Don't be fooled by the outer harmless appearance of this sin. For in fact, riba is one of the seven most destructive sins. Never underestimate the gravity of this sin. Is it really worth it? Maybe you are too attached to the luxuries you obtain through riba. Maybe the house you dream of and the car you wish to drive are too appealing to you. My brother, what happiness and enjoyment is there in anything other than obtaining Allah's pleasure? How could you possibly compare a temporary moment of luxury to the eternal and endless pleasure of Allah? My brother, my sister, don't be deluded by shaitan and his false promises. Interest will only lead to a lifetime of misery despite the temporary enjoyments it may bring. Give up what remains of interest in your life and return to Allah. And if you are thinking of going ahead with it, turn around now. Allah will always accept you.